Brittany, thank you. We're learning more about a U.S. Navy SEAL killed in action in Somalia. 38-year-old Kyle Milliken was based in Virginia Beach. She was on a mission near Mogadishu when he was killed. 10 on your side's Deanna LeBlanc spoke with Congressman Scott Taylor, a former Navy SEAL who served with Milliken. Yeah, Laura, Congressman Taylor tells me he served with Senior Chief Milliken in Iraq and at one point was an instructor in a course that Milliken was taking. Now, Milliken it was a highly decorated Navy SEAL. Among his long list of awards, four bronze stars with combat valor. The 38-year-old who grew up in Maine was also a husband and a father. He was working toward a degree at the College of William and Mary as well. He was in Somalia late last week working in an advise and assist role with Somali forces, according to the Pentagon. They were going after terror group Al Shabab when the U.S. forces came under fire. Rear Admiral Timothy Zemanski, who basically oversees all SEAL operations, said in a statement, Milliken embodied the warrior spirit and toughness infused in our very best Navy SEALs. Scott Taylor says Milliken was the best of the best in more ways than one. A consummate professional. He was an amazing family man. He was an amazing teammate. He's an amazing friend. And uh, he's quite frankly set an example for, for all of us. And, and uh, I think that you know this 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 tragedy can sh should be a wake up call for a lot of folks to uh, to give more to give more to their country and to uh, you know there are, you know all the little things and little things that we debate over are just insignificant in, in the big scheme of things. Milliken leaves behind a wife and two young children. In a statement, they say they're grateful for the community's interest but have asked for privacy during this time. I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.